when Ridley Scott produced his film Prometheus. Little did he know that the drone in his film would inspire railway engineers to produce a device to scan the interior of tunnels. Bizarrely, that's exactly what has happened. Network Rail, which owns and maintains most of the railway infrastructure in Britain, from vast sections of track to thousands of bridges, tunnels and level crossings, has long sought cheaper and easier ways of surveying the many underground caves and abandoned mines dotted around its property. Engineers must account for shallow subterranean voids when doing building work or moving heavy machinery because the caverns might collapse and cause the ground above to shift. There are more than 5,000 shallow voids in Britain. At an innovation workshop in 2018, Network Rail's principal mining engineer, Neil Rushton, found himself seated at a table with electronics experts and robot engineers. He sketched a simple drawing of the sort of device he was looking for, something that could travel down a 15 centimeter borehole, enter an underground cave and map its interior. Existing methods of mapping these areas are slow and sometimes hazardous. Surveyors either drill multiple boreholes into the ground through which they can poke their sensors on long sticks, or technicians have to enter the mine shafts and caverns themselves to collect the data by hand. Dangerous gases, cave-ins and explosions are all possible In Ridley Scott's film Prometheus, four spherical drones whiz off into a creepy, unexplored alien structure, scanning it with lasers as they go to build a 3D model of the environment. It's a tantalizing moment in which the human space travelers realize the enormous scale of the place they have stumbled upon. British Rail said, a tool like this would be invaluable, not just for us, but for hundreds of applications around the world. And that is how the Prometheus drone got its name. And British Rail hopes their device will fit in their smaller tunnels than the ones in the movie. But the technological principle is almost exactly the same. One of the challenges of a Prometheus-style drone is no GPS. That means the drones have to produce a 3D map in a space they know nothing about. And the drone has to be tiny, just big enough to carry its own small battery this would give it a mission of just 10 minutes. That means you have to navigate quickly, but slow enough to gather the data. The head of drone research said, movies make people dream. Researchers have an eye out for this kind of cool stuff that one day could be reality.